Hello friends, welcome to our YouTube channel. Yesterday we have seen in the previous lecture crystal lattice and the atoms per unit cell in different types of crystals that means uh, simple cubic or primitive cubic, body centered and face centered cubic structures. And today we are going to see the different ways by which crystal structures can be arranged and these different ways are known as Bravis lattices and uh, there are seven crystal systems in which these Bravis lattices are arranged and uh, these are cubic system, orthorhombic, tetrahedral, monoclinic, rhombohedral, triclinic and hexagonal and in these uh, seven crystal systems again cubic system consists of three systems simple or primitive body centered face centered orthorhombic have four crystal systems simple or primitive body centered face centered and base centered and in the tetragonal there are again two systems simple or primitive and body centered in case of monoclinic simple primitive and base centered in case of rhombohedral simple or it is known as primitive triclinic also contains simple or primitive hexagonal also contains simple or primitive systems and in our textbook these different diagrams are shown like this but the main thing that how these crystal systems can be remembered so that we will see these systems are arranged like this and there is a sentence by which we can remember these crystal systems and this it is a cute our mother cute in the cute cu for cubic t for tetrahedral our for orthorhombic mo for monoclinic t for triclinic H E for hexagonal and R for rhombohedral. In this manner, we can remember these crystal systems by using a sentence "cute our mother." And number of space lattices. We have to remember number of space lattices in the each system. Already we have seen cubic system contains three systems simple body centered and face centered in case of trigonal it sorry tetragonal two systems are there simple and body centered in case of orthorhombic there are four systems maximum systems are there in case of orthorhombic and the three are simple body centered and face centered along with these base centered is present in case of monoclinic there are only two systems and remember here simple and base centered and in case of triclinic, hexagonal, rhombohedral there are only one systems and these are simple you be simple hexagonal, simple triclinic, simple hexagonal and simple rhombohedral systems and we have to remember the edges and also the angles between these edges alpha beta and gamma because the question was asked uh, in case of board exam and also in case of CET and also uh, in case of NEET examination that the bond angles and also the edge lengths in case of cubic system all the lengths are same a is equal to b is equal to c that means uh, this mark is uh, not present alpha beta and gamma is 90 degree in case of tetrahedral one not equal to sign is present a is equal to b is not equal to c we to remember this we have mentioned here one unequal sign in case of orthorhombic a is not equal to b is not equal to c two unequal signs are there hence a is not equal to b is not equal to c in case of monoclinic also A is not equal to B is not equal to C that means two such a type of signs are there 
in case of triclinic also two signs are there which are unequal signs a is not equal to b is not equal to c in the case of hexagonal a is equal to b but b is not equal to c and one unequal sign is there in case of rhombohedral a is equal to b is equal to c and such type of unequal sign is absent hence we will see how these are arranged unequal signs 0 1 2 2 2 0 1 from bottom side how to remember 0 1 0 1 and remaining 3 are 2 2 2 but how to arrange cute our mother then can we can assign a b c in case of first all three are equal in case of second that is the tetragonal one unequal sign is there in case of orthorhombic two unequal signs are there hence a b c all different lengths in case of monoclinic also a b c are different two unequal signs in case of triclinic a b c are unequal hence two unequal signs in case of hexagonal one unequal sign hence it c is different than a and b and in case of rhombohedral a is equal to b is equal to c number of unequal signs zero hence we have to remember how many unequal signs are there and by which we can remember the lens a b c to remember this zero one from bottom also zero one and remaining three systems have two unequal signs i am saying unequal signs we have to remember only unequal signs arrange a b c and put unequal signs from top 0 1 from bottom 0 1 remaining another 3 as a 2 then angles in case of angles first three systems cubic system tetragonal system and orthorhombic system all have alpha beta gamma is equal to 90 degree and in case of monoclinic only beta is different and it is different than 90 it is not equal to 90 and in case of triclinic all are different alpha is not equal to beta is not equal to gamma and it is not equal to 90 degree in case of hexagonal alpha is equal to beta is equal to 90 but gamma is 120 and in case of rhombohedral alpha is equal to beta is equal to gamma and it is not equal to 90 degree then if you observe the cubic and the rhombohedral system that means first and seventh system you will see in case of these two systems a is equal to b is equal to c and in rhombohedral also a is equal to b is equal to c but angles are also a is alpha is equal to beta is equal to gamma but in case of cubic system all these angles are 90 and in case of rhombohedral alpha is equal to beta is equal to gamma but it is not equal to 90 in this way we have seen the 14 bravis lattices that means 14 systems with which atoms ions or molecules can be arranged in different ways and how to remember number of space lattice in each system cubic system contains three then tetra tetragonal contains two orthorhombic contains four monoclinic contains two and remaining three contains one each three two four two one 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 these uh, numbers we have to remember and bond angles also we have to remember we'll see one question which was asked in a neat examination and it is asked in 1991 for orthorhombic system axial ratios are a is equal to b is equal to c and the axial angles are for that we have to remember cute our mother and for first three alpha beta gamma are equal and these are 90 degree the specific features we have to remember in case of triclinic this system is also asked in the board examination and we have to remember all are different in triclinic system a is not equal to b is not equal to c 
and alpha is not equal to beta and it is not equal to gamma and it is not equal to 90 degree. Hence, remember this statement, cute our mother, arrange these all these and you can see the bond angles also you can remember in case of monoclinic only beta is different in uh, in, uh, in case of hexagonal only gamma is different cubic and rhombohedral system uh, have alpha is equal to beta is equal to gamma but in case of rhombohedral all these angles alpha beta and gamma though equal they are not equal to 90 these differentiating points if you remember you can solve the mcq also this we have to remember for the NEET and JE examination. Thank you.